So let's look at these mindset shifts that we need to make. Now, I see this all the time where people are considering that, that they think of making partner is just another promotion. It's just we have this phrase in the UK where we talk about just a notch on the bed bedpost, you know, a, a conquest to do. Whereas it, it's not like that. You know, making partner is where your your partners trust you enough to want to have you as their business partner. And they believe that you're going to grow a business within a business. Now, if you're, say, within a big four, it's going to take two, three years before your business case starts to increase the size of the profits. And so actually, they're also making partner, you know, is it's a commercial decision. You know, and your partners are deciding, will I support you for two to three years until you get to the point where you're putting in a lot more money into the into the profit pot than you're taking out to pay yourselves. And remember, on the day one that you make a partner in your firm, you're going to have to resign. You're going to go self-employed. Um, it, it isn't just about, hey, I've been promoted. It's, it's not about being promoted. Now, I see this a lot. I see a lot of people go, actually, I, I just need to work really hard. Now, of course, you just need to work really hard. But what's really important is that you realize that your own mental and physical health is more important than hitting work targets. I see far too many people get absolutely shattered on the way. And so this is a massive mindset shift. And I see this one a lot where you allow yourself to get into this where you don't have control over your own time. Now, if you think about partners, they have control over their own time or they kind of mostly do. They're in a position where people ask them what they want to do rather than tell them. And this is a massive mindset shift. If you're gonna create the time to move from just being a great performing senior manager, senior, uh, senior, senior associate director to partner, you have to be in control of your own time, which means that you've got to have allocated time to spend on your career, that you know when it's going to do and it's going to happen. But so many of us just have no control over their own time. As soon as, you know, as soon as your clients and your partners wake up, you find that your, your day is now theirs rather than yours. And I see this happening a lot is so the way our brains are structured is that our brain wants to keep us safe it's kept us safe for many many thousands of years and so our brain typically is looking for two things for threats and rewards and so there's part of our brain that is always on scanning looking for threats and rewards uh, and what happens is when we perceive there's a threat and a threat can be fear uncertainty and doubt our brain moves into threat mode it gets hyper focused on that threat mood. Our stress levels rise, our blood pressure rises. Um, and, you know, and a lot of us, because of what's been happening with COVID, have actually had been in threat mode almost constantly since about March or even earlier if your country was locking down in February. Now, the problem is when I said this threat mode is something that is uh, triggered when there's uncertainty, fear, or doubt. Now, if you're going to learn a new skill, if you're going to change status quo, if you're going to do something different. Everything that you need to do to move your career forward, your brain will first of all interpret as a threat because it's uncertainty, doubt, fear. So the key thing here is, and, and you've got to learn that when I when I experience fear, is actually it's something to be embraced. It's something that's telling me I'm going the right way rather than the wrong way. And with it's a massive, massive mindset around knowing how your body behaves when you're in a, in a fearful state, how to recognize that and then how to rebalance yourself and know that this is exactly where I need to be right now. I see this a lot. Nobody else is going to develop is going to develop you. It is your responsibility to drive your own development and career. Nobody's going to do it. And I see so many people waiting for their firm to do it. It's just not going to happen. We, we get into this tyranny of when of when I get into January, I'll work on my career. When I get to 2021, I'll refocus and move forward. When I get to senior manager, I'll really spend time on this. When I actually get to a quiet period, I'll do this. When, I've, uh, when I'm confident that I've won my first big deal, I'll do this. And, and what actually happens is this when is a form of procrastination. It's our brain tricking us and it's getting around a sense of fear. 
normally when we put a when, it might sound really logical, like when we've got a quiet period, but it's actually our brain tricking us into keeping us safe. And we've got to stop doing this. You know, stop putting those artificial barriers there. And we don't realize we're doing it. It's our brains tricking us. I see this a lot. You know, one day it's going to happen. One day I'll have the time or I intend to make part of, but I'm not going to do anything different. I intend to move my career forward, but I'm just going to do the same old things. You know, if you just do the same old things, you'll get the same old results. And, and, and you're relying on hope as a strategy and hope. Hey, it makes us feel good. It feels like we're doing something. But actually, if you're not putting focused action there, then it's not going to move forward. And I, I know there's someone that's a, a member of Progress to Partner. And I know she recently did the partnership readiness assessment. And I turned to her, I said, I bet it's all green, but for the last four bits, she's only just been promoted to senior manager, the last four indicators. She said, yeah, pretty much so. You know, and that is an example of somebody that has not relied on a hope as a strategy, who has moved this stuff forward.